Okay, so this puppy has this old trait that some of mine have where they wave at you. Uh, all right, I already told Lou one line and she's right back outside. Let's go. That's it, right back outside. Let's go. Said, what is it? I, it kind of is a genuine wave. Watch, she's going to do it. Oh, hi, Kelly. Oh, hi, girl. I do a lot of puppy work, too. And you're kind of just rewarding everything we already do anyway. I'm going to do it now. I'm going to be on the lookout, though. It came and then it just sat there and waved. Oh, my God. <laughs> so. They're conditioned. I've started condi they're conditioned to a bell, basically. So ever since, let me shut this door. So there isn't really, if you, you know, you can add work. People need to understand once a behavior is there, you can call it anything you want. If it isn't there, you can call it a million times. It's never going to happen. So I've never really shut the hiccups. to the exercise, it really is fast. You've got to, oh, <laughs> that's the waving. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, that'd be so cute, Mark, if I could get her doing that while I jump coming in. <laughs> of course it won't do it now, but I'm gonna work on it. You know, it's just an organically occurring behavior in the dog and if you reward it, you know, if I do something one time and someone likes it the first time I do it, no, I keep doing it. You said, I'm forever, forever. I keep doing it forever. Oh, remember, you always love this video. So that was a micro version of it. She just moved her feet. She's going to make it bigger. Watch. Oh, my God. She totally copied me. She totally copied me. So, you know, if you have, if you said, well, that's what they do. They don't, they don't have Pinterest. They're just copying what they see. It's, it's true. It is. <laughs> oh, there you go, Mark. She's like a movie dog. She's like a movie dog. We'll be able to get her on a little pedestal at the gala. And then, and then just with a little... Take time. These things take time. Anyway, what a cute dog. So, if you said based on that, oh yeah, based on that, I'm going to be able to get it doing it without a problem. Okay, so I got my bucket of stuff. I mean, just honestly, sunglasses are always good. There's certain things dogs. You know, if you said, oh, my sunglasses fell, the dog grabbed them. I'd say, oh, I believe that. Or you know, just I don't know, they're like a baby. See, they like keys. Here's the keys. So, you know, they, they like different sounds. They, they do. They do. They're already conditioned for that metallic sound. So. Uh, really, it's almost, it's not even, uh, uh, it's the cadence of it. She says, that sounds like somebody knocking at a door. It does. Okay, so. All right, this is the distraction. So, All right, so for this, the handler is seated. The feet are together. You're making yourself very small. You know, and with guys, you've got to be careful. They're going to sit down.
Fix nothing. There's no fix. It's just focusing over here. That's not working at all. Said that's a fraction of the behavior. It is. It's a fraction of the behavior. If you said, what would be my advice be if I was watching you doing it? I would say switch objects real quick. If you said, why? Because it was sort of slinging around. <laughs> you said, you don't want that. You really don't. You don't want them slinging around. So, okay. So we're back to the class. So she's looking around. She's looking around for them, but now they're gone. changing the object. So if you said it's bigger better necessarily, but she's definitely putting it, if you said what based on what she just did with the keys, not get rid of the keys. If it was me, I was coaching you, I'd say no get rid of the keys, get rid of the keys. You know, get the behavior with these things. or any, do you have any like, uh, you know, paraphernalia from the uh, gala mark with the name, or, you know, anything on it? I've got some Marco Mara business cards, anything that we can get her picking up. So if you said, do I point and say, get it, get it? No. Oops. Uh -oh. So she's putting it right in my hand. If you said, are you telling her to do that? Yes, but it's all subliminal. Me saying, get it, get it, get it, or pointing. You know, I promise you that's not what you want to do. And you've got to be fluid. You know, if you said, well, it was going to get the keys and start throwing them all over the kitchen. That's what it looked like. <laughs> so, you know, you're just changing the object. If you said, are you, is it looking at you? I see her looking at me, but I'm not, look I'm keeping her out of my eye line. So, I see her looking at me. If you said, if it waved, would I reward it? I would. So I can go away from here. And I promise you that the secret to this is if you laugh when a dog does something, they do it again. It is. And if you said, well, I see all kind of videos where they're laughing at the wrong time. Yeah, exactly. They're laughing when it's going in the mud, or it's running with their cell phone, or it's chasing, pulling that one where that woman's getting pulled into the water. Oh, laughing, laughing. And you said there's a chance it'll repeat the, yeah, based on that. So anyway, I overcooked my hot dogs, but cooking them does give them more appeal. Let me see what else I've got. But, you know, I'm saying to myself, my job is now not to suddenly get it getting all these different objects. And if you said why, because I'm placing the value on the behavior, not the object. If you said I've only been able to get it to pick up this one object, I would say, how long has it been first? <laughs> you know, if you just said it's a week, I'd say stick with it. I'd say stick with getting it to pick that object up for another three or four weeks if that's all you have time for rather than start presenting objects and getting refusals or getting, you know, blowback behaviors, which is the keys. Oh yeah, it liked, oh, <laughs> it liked the keys all right. It liked throwing them all over the kitchen. You know, so that wasn't gonna, that wasn't gonna help. And there's not any really, oh, no, no, no. So let's see, what am I saying? What's kind of similar? glasses. You know, any kind of cheap glasses, I, you know, how many, in fact, you know what, call any optometrist and say, have you ever heard of a dog chewing up someone's glasses? I'm sure that's all they've ever heard about. Let me try to get some that aren't overdone, the ones that were on the bottom. Let's see what happened. 
Oh, I just overcooked him a little. <laughs> I turned the oven up just like my fish tank that one time. I said, I'll turn it back down in a minute. No, I forgot. <laughs> Some of them like it like that, though. I said this one. But those, you've got to be fluid, you know. My job is not sit there and say, no, 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 no. Give me, give me, give me, give me the keys. You know, they're pretty easy to sort of distract. And that's why I do like to have the bucket. I mean, you're able to get the stuff out of the queue. So I'm making myself very small. I'm not petting the dog. I'm not doing any of these things. So you said, what didn't I like about that? That they came unfolded. And, and you know, starter dogs, those uh, little, like little glass cases, like those foster grants come in. You said, what needs to happen? It needs to look at my eyes. <laughs> you little peanut. So, you know, that's kind of just where you're starting out. So you said, should I start doing a bunch of long drills? Not really. I mean, not really. I mean, you should get up to a two object drill. If you said, why? That's surety training. If you said, oh, I want to train to pick up an object. Well, then teach it at least to pick up two. In my opinion, five. And then that way that you know if you're only repeatedly getting one object, one object, one object, well, if your performance is compromised at all, it's, it's not going to do it. If you said, but if it gets five, yeah, you've got a better shot. Even though I'm kind of sneaking away, I'm making it farther away. I'm not telling her to go farther away. I'm guarding the stuff I've already got. You know, and if I want to influence the dog. Anyway, she's doing awesome. And I will keep you updated. So, oh, hi, Co. Are we enemies? Anyway, uh, but that's where we're at. And if you say, what is it basing it? Yeah, that's, no matter what happens, you kind of say to yourself, should I get it picking up 10 different objects? Not really. You know, I think you should get it picking things up. If you see, and I could probably get it during the keys now, but if you see something starting to be a problem, and if you said that because it shouldn't be laying down, you see, starting to be a problem. Whoops. Your job is to get it out of the queue. So what did I originally, oh, I'll show you what I started them on. But my hands are gone. Even the bucket is good for people because it is hard to fumble for the, you know, timing is important. If you're fumbling for the treats, you know, if you said, do I want to add distance? Yes, but not with a bunch of movement. So if you said, don't wave it around, not really. Not really, because then you're placing the value, once the object is moving, and that's what people need to understand, the value is the object, not the behavior. Uh-oh, back to my deli hot dogs. You know, and I, I'm not, if you said, would it help to tell it, if, one, it's a puppy. You're shaping a behavior. You're not telling it to do anything. If you said, what's your job? Make it believe it wants to do that. That's what your job is. And you could get any dog doing this just by looking. And if you said, what would be, what would be an easy way to add distance? Honestly, if you could take, if there was a way to make a sound, you know, if, you, if I could make those uh, glasses make a sound, you know, have a vibration or whatever. She's playing with the food. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to all of you. Don't overcook your hot dogs, but. It's gonna have to smash them. You know, I just smash them and use little pieces. So if you said, how do you, can you activate the dog? If you said, should we get that little wood thing for, yeah, they like that thing. So I can activate it by.
paint it. I mean, so she said, you want to keep doing that? Not really. I mean, uh, so I should be able to get her to wear those glasses. Not really, but I mean, understand that that's an install that was put in the dog very young. And if you said, what about this? Same thing. Same thing. <laughs> so that would be the end. And then, you know, you've got the bucket. I mean, I'm honestly, just cheap. These are just toy glasses. These are, you, these are party favor glasses. I took the little lenses out because they were like really cheap. But, you know, for puppies, I'm going to show you what I originally started on. I can show you the first video. It ended up being really good. Was these little the Chinese handcuffs or whatever they call them. So I just used that as, you know, it's basically wood, which, you know, it's basically a stick. It's basically a stick. So that's what I started them on. And even then they would even hold it. You could give it to them and they would hold it. If you said, should you do, they all do that? I'm not sure if they all do that. I'm really not, but these would. They would go like that and they would hold it. <laughs> and if you said, you, I wouldn't use it. <laughs> I wouldn't keep doing it. I mean, because it's already starting to get a little bit. But if you said, were they smashing? They really weren't smashing it at all. And it was, it was a, I mean, it was a shaped hole. If you said separate from the delivery, yeah, it really is separate from the, you've got to understand hold is a separate behavior. And people don't think of it that way. They think just, oh, we're going to give something, bring it back. Hold is in of itself a separate behavior. And if you said to most of them, honestly, well, don't do that, that I'm aware of. If you said, well, if you wave it around and throw it, it'll go get, yes, but if you present it, if you present it as an object and say, here, hold this for me, <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm sure you could go out in public and, you know, not everybody, you, if you just handed them something and said, here, hold this for me. So if you said that's a different behavior than picking it up off the ground, it is, it is. <laughs> Courtney, I hope you're there. I need to do this in slow-mo. But uh, you know, if you said, well, oh, it was this whole party pack of those glasses, these things, or not those glasses, some different glasses though. Oh, all kinds of stuff for $6.97. I didn't realize what a bargain I was getting. I so said, how can you activate it? Oops. So now that's a different behavior. Picking it up. Is a different behavior than holding it. You've got to break everything down. If you said, no, I want to pick it up. I want it to pick it up. I want it to hold it. I want it to give it to me. I want it to do all these things. I mean, Unless you're breaking all these things down into separate subtasks, it's, it's not going to do it. And if you understand how subtasks work, then it's going to do it easily. It's going to do it easily because it'll be able to understand. So if you said sort of like, you know, once you understand ABC, you can start putting simple letters together. Yes, uh, or simple words. Yes, I mean, that's how you're thinking of it. the dog. You know, the subtask is the very, you know, letter if you said what's a subtext the dog is engaged with the handler if you said this isn't it isn't engaged it's still engaged like how long i've been working it you know i'm like that too <laughs> so anyway you guys all right i'm gonna go because yeah now it's pouring down rain outside because of this hurricane and i gotta go out there and get some stuff done but you know, you can see the puppy chooses to stay by the platform if you said by accident. No, I mean, that's kind of how they are anyway, but then I already put the blankets up there too. I'm not trying to make it unappealing. If it decides it wants to go there, 
that's going to have more weight in the dog's mind than if I decide I want it to go there. <laughs> you know, that's, it's not going to, it's not going to say, oh, you little peanut, you little princess. You know, me saying I want it to go there. I think she go there. is not going to be as powerful as it saying, I want to go there. <laughs> they want me to go there isn't going to be as powerful as I want to go there. It's just how their minds work. And I read Lassie and stuff too. I thought they wanted to do what you want all the time too. <laughs> then I figured out that isn't how it works. So, you know, you're not... It's, it's all motivational training. It really is. And... You know, there isn't really, there's, you know, if somebody says, how do you correct a puppy, a puppy this age? <laughs> if it's making a bunch of mistakes, it's because you're, you know, if you said, well, what do you do about a three-year-old that's knocking over, you know, your heirloom china? <laughs> three-year-old knocking over your heirloom china? <laughs> yeah, here's the correction. Get, you know, uh, get a better china cabinet something. I mean, there's no, you know, physically attacking them and thinking, <laughs> I swear that's what people think. Oh, they're going to throw things at them and. You know, it now is saying to itself, you know, I'm noticing, I'm noticing they're handing out a lot of snacks over in this area as opposed to every other area. Every other area. So if you said that's going to be very permanent, yes, it's going to take minimal reinforcement. And if you continue on that, it's, it is going to appear there as a default, meaning it's going to believe, nobody's going to be able to convince it that it doesn't want to be up there. If you Because so, it's there of its own free will. If you said you shaped its free will, it's a thing, yes, you're shaping its free will. It's called forced perspective. It believes that's what it wants to do. If you said, what about you? Oh, I believe I want to shop on Amazon every day. If you said, who helps reinforce this? Amazon. <laughs> they help reinforce this and they help me understand that I want to be on there every day. If you said all day, all day, yes, all day. <laughs> Not just part of the day. Yeah, I mean, if something happens, I can't be on there all day. Of course, it's disappointing. <laughs> of course, that's disappointing, and I'm doing everything I can to get back on there as soon as possible. So, it's polarized to the handler, too, though. If you said, is that fair? It is. That's very important. goes on there and go, oh, if you said, well, the first 10 times it went on there, you rewarded it. Yeah. If I would have rewarded it the first five times it went on there, if you said, what about the very, yes, if I would have rewarded it the very first time it went on there, it's going gonna, it gonna, it's gonna to try that again. Why wouldn't it? That's the nature of dogs. It's going to go where it had success before. If you said, what if I force it to stay up there? It's going to think there's not a lot of success around this neighborhood. <laughs> You know, and you can't task people to help force to stay there. Force someone to stay somewhere they don't want to stay. Who wants to do that? Why would anyone want to do that? And you want it to be, you know, by being seated like this, the handlers, you know, she's not jumping all over me. If you said that will be good when it's older, yes. In fact, Mark, we're going to get that little harness for her. And, um... Or something to put on it, but if you say for a company, yeah, if you say what if she starts biting you, oh, I just leave. If you say what if she just still clings, I try and just drag it along.